Listen, before we get this started, I know, I know, I've, I, I, I know, I haven't been consistent with this series at all. I know I left this series back in the burners for a, a, a very long time. I know, I know, I know. It's been literally two weeks since I've uploaded an episode of this series, and I actually feel bad. So we're back. But honestly, no excuses except for the fact that I've been playing FIFA a very unhealthy amount of FIFA. So. Uh, I'm gonna put the I'm, I'm gonna pin the blame on FIFA on this one, but now we're back into full motion You guys saw I uploaded two videos yesterday. So that just shows you guys that I'm I'm I'm, I'm here But yeah, let's get this one started folks. We got ourselves the Cleveland Indians franchise I can't even tell you which episode it is because I know it's gonna be wrong So let's just go ahead and continue with this folks. Take a look at the lineup real quick It's been a while since I said that um uh, Everything's go going good. We're looking like we could win the World Series in season number one. Honestly, this 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 might be the best shot for us to win the World Series in our first ever season. We definitely have what it takes. We're 73 and 41. I mean, we're just destroying right now. We're actually gonna go ahead and do this uh critical situation. We got one run lead versus the Minnesota Twins. We got Brad Hand on the mound. Let's try to get that out. All right, here we go. So we got we're facing off against Jorge Polanco, a very dangerous hitter. We know that for sure. He's two for two this game, so. It's definitely seen the ball well today. We're just gonna have to locate some high fastballs and hope that uh, that should have been a strike blue. That's on the black, but that's whatever. We'll let that one go. Uh, that one's gonna go through. Uh, but yeah, like I mentioned, we have a pretty good shot to win the World Series in our first season, which is something that I've never done. Honestly, I've never actually won the World Series in our first season of a team. And imagine, just imagine if we do win the World Series in the in I wouldn't say our first episode. Well, in between five episodes, I should say that should be ah, that should be okay, I cause then that actually put me in a predicament. I don't know what I would do if we actually do win the World Series as we get a fly ball over to the center fielder. Uh, I actually wouldn't know what to do if we actually do win the World Series this season because either we can continue it for one more season and see what kind of happens there, see if we could win two uh, World Series in the span of a uh, of a series. Or we just move on over to the next team and try to keep it moving and keep it keep it going. Because, I mean, honestly, I think you guys might want me to just move on to another team. Just so we can try to get through as many of the teams as we possibly can. As we get that strike on our Nelson Cruz. And we do end up winning the game there, folks. And that is going to be another dub on our record. And that is going to be one step closer to the World Series. With the winning pitcher being Robbie Erlin, loser Trevor May, and Brad Hand comes in with the save. Mercado with a 4 for 5 game, two, uh, a double, an RBI and a run. Kipnis with a hit, Taylor Nakin with two. Uh, just an overall good game by the squad. So yeah, we've actually been on quite a roll, man. We've been on a pretty hefty winning streak, as I say that, and we lose games. Uh, we're looking pretty good, man. We're looking pretty good. Obviously, our biggest threats are going to be the big teams like, you know, the Astros, the the Yankees, Red Sox. Uh, I don't know who is the best, in, at least in this uh, in this franchise. As the AAA does win, their, uh, they do complete. Look at that. Look at that. We're just thriving all around. We're going to go ahead and stop simulating here and kind of check on the standings and see who is our biggest threat. So apparently we are the fourth ranked team in the bigs, 91 and 49 in the American League Central. Uh, the Astros with 84 wins, Yankees with 83, Nationals with 90. Uh, wow, it, it's looking like okay, it's looking like we're on a league of our own. Honestly, we're it's looking like we're actually on a league of our own. We should be wow, 94 wins. We have oh no, we have 91 wins. Excuse me, we have the most we have the most wins in the entire league besides the Nationals, which are one game above us. But uh, wow, we're actually. Yeah, we're actually one of the best teams, if not the best team in the majors. We, so we are the clear favorites. This is looking really good. This is looking really good for us right now. As we do win 102 games in this season. And our first season, we didn't even make that many moves. We just made a couple bullpen moves. And that's pretty much it. And let's take a look at the season ending stats for some of these players. As Mercado finishes off with 247 at the leadoff row. Naked with a decent season. Framil Reyes with a gorgeous he's 31 bombs Yasiel Puig we got us oh my god bro everyone's had a good season Carlos Santana with an amazing season uh Kipnis who I thought wasn't gonna have an amazing season ends up having a really really productive one and Kevin Plowecki as well as uh seems to have been producing for us 
and that's gonna be the lineup and let's check on the pitching rotation which we possibly have the best rotation in the entire big leagues that's something that i will take with me forever i mean kluber with a 2 6 uh 2 6 2 era 19 and 7 a 2 6 6 18 and 3 by clevenger cookie with a 12 and 3 with a 2 9 3 i mean bieber Shane Shane Bieber 11 and 13 uh thir 13 and 11 with the 352 not that bad even and then Zach please like the rookie with the 262 ERA and then our bullpen balling as usual so wow Mike Trout wins MVP of the season uh oh I should switch it there and then Clevenger wins the Cy uh the Cy Young for this season so that's two Cy Youngs in the past three years I will gladly take that then uh Mookie bets with another batting title reliever the reliever of the year goes to uh the main man, Diego Castillo, who we're going to try to pick up next year if we do make it to that point. And, yeah, we've just gotten a bunch of studs. A uh, couple couple awards, you know, nothing too crazy. Anybody injured? Uh, Jeffrey Rodriguez and then Michael Peoples are injured. And then we have some league leaders uh, with Clevenger and the winning percentage and wins for Kluver. So, yeah, we're looking really good. We're going to be facing off against the winner between Tampa Bay and New York. And it looks like we're going to be facing off against New York Yankees. It's always the Yankees. I mean, I'm telling you, it's always the Yankees that we have to face off. We're going to go. We're going to see if we can complete the the uh, the entire series in this episode. We're actually not that far into this episode. We're like nine minutes into it. So we can, we can actually get pretty far in this postseason run if we actually uh, want to. So we're going to start, obviously, Corey Kluber in game number one. Uh, I do want to make some adjustments. I do want to have... Uh, Ah, uh, shoot. I want to have Santana at the four. I would say put Lindor at the two. Have something like this going. Uh, Yeah, something like this would be pretty good. Yeah, yeah. This is actually the lineup that, 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 that I want to put out there. Folks, let's play ball. Kluber versus... I forgot who was the other guy pitching for them. Uh, We'll, we'll find out. Wow, base is loaded. Uh, and then a run scores there. Kluber's going to get a run, and we're going to be facing off against Masahiro Tanaka, a single by Fran Mill, a run scores there, a double by Santana, a pop-up, which gets us out of the inning there, and uh, wow, Kluber's not having himself the best start, man, Kluber is not having himself the best start, a walk right there, uh, we're just going to, wow, okay, Kluber, are you going to do something about it, bro, an error, single right there, run the throw now, I mean, honestly, Kluber might be, it, 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 it might be a short outing by by Kluber, man. It's always the Yankees that fuck us over, man. It is always the Yankees. So here we're gonna go ahead and take Kluber out, man. Fuck. It's always like it, it's always the Yankees, man. It's like like why? It's it's Corey, it's Corey Kluber, like. And then Robbie Earn's gonna get lit up. Framer Royce with another hit right there. Uh a walk by Puig, a fly out, and Naquin's gonna pop out. Nothing comes from that one. Um it looks like the Yankees are just like the she it's just they just like to fuck with you, and that's pretty much it, man. That's uh, that, that's actually pretty much it. So, yeah, on the last string there, folks, and we're actually going to ooh, base is loaded, pitching change, Chapman, and then the Yank the Yankees. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Corey Kluber just shot the bed, honestly. All right, this game we're gonna start Clevenger at game two. This should be our best chance for us to actually do something amazing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move Santana at the four. I would say uh, Plawecki did pretty good as well. Uh, we'll move Plawecki. Uh, no, we'll, we'll leave him at that spot. It, it was honestly the beginning, the, the top half of the order that was the one that was producing. And let's play ball, folks. Clevenger versus... I, I always forget the pitchers. I never really look at the pitchers, man. Honestly, I never look at the pitchers. Versus Jordan Montgomery. Okay, cool. Um, this should be our game. If we don't end up doing some bullshit. A single there by Santana. A double by Fran Mill with the run and throw down at home. A walk by Kipnis and a fly out. So a walk right there. Uh wow okay, this one's definitely a pitching battle. It's definitely a pitching battle. I'm kind of with a single, and then Gregorius with a two-run home run. Oh my god, yo, this is so annoying, bro. The Yankees are the most annoying team to face in the playoffs. They're honestly so freaking annoying, bros. Like Jordan Montgomery has not lost a bit of energy. Uh, here we're gonna make a pitching change. Here we're gonna bring in um Simber. We're gonna bring in Simber. Uh, because Clevenger, he didn't have a bad outing. Just got really unlucky by those two home runs, uh, by the two runs, I should say. Um, hit by pitch by Kipnis and a double play. We're just not getting anything done. 
Like, we're not getting anything done here, folks. That's that's a single by Mercado, a single by Lindor. Let's go! We walk it off, baby. That's what I'm talking about. A walk-off win. Tyler Naquin comes up with a three-run home run to win us the game there. And the series is now tied. And we we, we get eliminated by, by the Yankees. I fucking hate the Yankees. All right, we've sent out contracts for our two pitch, our two uh, coaches. Uh, we do have some uh, exclusive contracts to deal with, especially with Puig. Uh, I do want to give Puig a very good contract. He's going to be an everyday, uh, an everyday player. It's going to be uh, uh, no options, three years. Hopefully, he does accept it. Oliver Paris, 38 years old. Uh, we'll give him one more year. Uh, we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll give him a year. Clippard. Adam Rosales, Jack Flaherty, Gary Navarro. So none of these guys I really want to bring back, honestly. I would say the only one I, uh, no, not really. So we sent out the two contracts that we would actually want to keep. Um, Chris Woodger accepted our offer, and then Dave Roberts has, has accepted our offer. So the good thing about this is that we are, uh, we were a really good team. So may it's gonna be a possibility that we are gonna pick up some good some guys in the uh the free agency let's take a look at what we can possibly pick up uh a catcher uh just money grand dog what was his stats last year uh it wasn't bad honestly it wasn't it wasn't bad ozuna could be a very good target for us uh, as an outfielder for us uh what does our outfield look like we got naquin puig uh yeah naquin puig and Mer mercado honestly if we could put Puig, Puig, Ozuna, uh, I would say Puig, Ozuna, and Naquin would be a pretty good outfield. So we're going to send a contract over to the main man, Ozuna. Give him something that he'll like. Uh, obviously, a star player. Uh, we'll give him a, a player contract after four years. Yeah, after four years. So we set out a contract right there. Garrett Cole could 100% be in our rotation. We always pick up, try to pick up uh, Garrett Cole. I don't know, it's just something that it just, just happens. We always end up trying to pick pick him up. So we should be able to get Cole. Uh, I wanna make I wanna make our, our pitching staff, our rotation, everything as dominant as it can possibly be. And we're just being we're just being the top the top contenders in picks in pretty much everything. So Jeremy Jeffress, we'll send him out a little contract too. We'll send him a little two year contract, see if he'll come to play for us for two years. And uh, maybe become an absolute boss in our squad. Young Jerry Youth, 80. Uh, not really. I don't think that's it. So, this is a pretty slow uh, free agency market, to be honest. Not many people that I would really want that are pretty much ne uh, needed in our squad. So, we do sign Garrett Cole. And we also could see there we sign uh, Azuno and also Jeffress. So, yeah. Picked up some stud players. We're actually going to take out Mercado. From the lineup, we're gonna put him at he is what 25 years old. Uh, I guess we'll put him in the bench for this season, start him off there. Uh, Zuna, I don't want Azuna to be our leadoff guy. I would definitely say we can put um Lindor at leadoff and then put Azuna somewhere at the three hole or maybe at the two. That's definitely somewhere, somewhere that I do think could belong to Azuna. And then we have here Gary Cole. And who we're gonna put in for Zach, uh, not Zach, Shane Bieber. And where is his man? Jeremy, Jeremy Jeffress, right there. So we're gonna see if we can trade our uh, Shane Bieber this year. See if we can possibly pick him up. 24 years old. Oh, uh, he's not even signed to a contract yet. So yeah, we, oh yeah, we do need to sign contracts. God damn it. All right, so contracts have actually been sent out already. Uh, we do have some guys here. We can actually make an offer and just keep him a little bit longer, like Lindor and Clevenger. But we're going to do that in the next episode. We're going to leave that off there, folks. We're going to actually, uh, yeah, we're going to leave that for, for the next episode. You guys saw that we picked up studs in the team and uh, Ozuna, Jeffress, and Garrett Cole. So, yeah, it was a really slow free agency. Nothing too exciting besides Cole and Will Smith and Ozuna and all that stuff. And we signed two of those guys. So, I say it's pretty successful in our eyes. And maybe we'll actually do really good with these guys. Uh, with Ozuna making an upgrade over there in the outfield. And then making our starting rotation even better. Potentially with Gary Cole. I say we're in for a pretty, pretty good year. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, man. If you guys want to see another episode tomorrow. If we get five likes, I'll go ahead and drop another episode tomorrow for you guys. Because uh, I really want to upload the series as much as possible. We're really close to, to the World Series. But we just fell short. 
Uh, unfortunately, of course, it's to the Yankees again. Who would have fucking thought the Yankees would have eliminated us again? But, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one, folks. Make sure to leave a like down below and also drop a sub. It's been your boy Rezzy. Peace.